Hey guys, welcome to video number three of our Sales.js and MongoDB app. In the last video, we implemented MongoDB. We also created the home page with the nav bar and the bootstrap for layout. So now what we're going to do is work on the controller. I think in the last video, I think in the end, I said we're going to work on the model. The model's done. The model is very simple, but the controller is where we're going to add uh, basically our routes and what's going to happen when we go to certain URLs. So let's go ahead and open up API controllers and then articles controller. So in here we're going to have a bunch of different functions. The first one's going to be list. That's what we're going to work on first is the list page. So we, we just want to set this to a function. And this function is going to take in a request and a response. And then what we're going to do for now is we're just going to uh, return a view. So let's say res dot view. And we want to load a view called list. Okay, so we're just going to do that for now. Let's save it. Let's go to our views folder and create a new file called list dot EJS. All right, and let's just write out list. We'll just test it out. We'll save. Let's go over here and let's click on our articles tab. You can either click there or view articles. And that's going to go to our list page and you can see that it's getting loaded. So it's as easy as that to create a route and to um, to link a view. Now, we don't just want to show a list template. We want to fetch the, the articles and output them in the list template or view template view. I'm using those interchangeably. So what we need to do is is reach into the model. So let's just get rid of this for now. And we're going to say articles, which is our model that we want. And then we want to call dot find. And here we're going to say uh, we're just going to put some empty curly braces because we want to get all articles. We don't have any special queries or anything. And then we want to do dot exec for execute. And then we just want to pass in a function here. And this function is going to take in an error if there is one and then the articles that it's going to grab for us. So we just want to check for the error first. So if there's an error. Then what do we want to do? We want to just res dot send. You can see that this kind of works like express. If you're familiar with express, we're going to send a 500 error and then we can pass an object with an error that uh, we can define and we'll just say database error. OK, so that's if there's an error, if there's not, then we just want to load a view, which I just showed you is res dot view. We want to load the list view and then we want to pass in an object with articles that points to the articles that are being passed in here from the find. OK, so we're just reaching in. We're grabbing the articles. We're loading the list view and passing them into that view. So let's save that. And then we're going to go back to our list EJS file. And we're going to just set up some some markup here. Let's put an H1 and I'm going to put a class of display for. OK, which is like I said, one of the new bootstrap four classes, not really new, but bootstrap four and we'll say articles under that. We're going to start our table. OK, our table is going to have a class of table as well as table dash striped. And let's see in here, we're going to have a T head. So in the T head, we'll have a T row. And inside there, we're going to have three table headings, so three th. So with Emmet, I can just say th times three. Oh, that's not right. Th times three. And let's see, this one's going to be the ID. This one's going to be the title. And then this one I'm going to leave blank because that's where the buttons are going to go. OK, so that's it for the T head. Now let's do the T body. And in here, we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to loop through all of the articles and then output a table row with each article. Now, to do our loop, we're going to use EJS syntax, which is going to be a an angle bracket and then a percent. And then what we want to do is take that articles object and call dot for each. And we want to pass in here a function. Like that, get rid of that slash. And we want to end this right here with a percentage and, and, and um, greater than. And we also need brackets down here too. Like that. 
All right. And then in this function, we just want to pass in whatever we want to use as a keyword, which in our case is going to be article. So it's looping through all the articles and then we can access each one with article. So let's go ahead and put our TR. And then in here we're going to have three TDs or, or columns. So we'll say TD um, times three. And let's see, the first one's going to be the ID. So we're going to use our, our EJS syntax. Now, when we're actually outputting something, you need to use your um, angle bracket percent and then equals. Okay, we didn't use the equals here because we weren't actually outputting something like we are here. So we're going to output article dot title and then we need to close that up. I'm sorry, this is going to be the ID. Okay, ID first and then the title. So I'll just copy that. And then this one will be the title. And then we're going to have our buttons here, but I'll just leave that for now. So let's save. Let's go over here and reload. And there we go. So we have our article one and article two. Now the edit and delete I want to do last. The next thing I want to work on is adding an article. So we need to first take care of our route. We want to click on this link and have it go to our ad page. So let's go back to our controller. We're going to go right under the list, put a comma right there and say add. Okay, which is going to be a function. And all we want to do here is load the add view. So we'll say res dot view. And we want to load add. All right, so we'll save that. We'll go to views and, and create a new file called add dot EJS. Let's just test it out. We'll just say add and let's go over here and click add article. And that doesn't work. Add EJS articles controller. Uh, let's see, did I screw something up here? Oh, I don't have the request and response, which I should. Yeah, because it didn't know what res was. So let's try that again. There we go. So now it's loading add. Now let's go ahead and add the markup to the add EJS file, which is going to be a bootstrap for form. So I also want to have a uh, breadcrumb in here so we can easily go back to the, the dashboard or to the to the list. So we're going to put an OL with the class of breadcrumb. And let's see in here, we're going to put an LI with the class of breadcrumb dash item and in here we're going to have a link which is going to go to slash articles slash list and that'll just say articles and then we're going to have another breadcrumb item okay this one's going to be active and there's not going to be any link it's just going to say add. All right, so if we save that and reload, it should look like this. This way we can go back to the articles very easily. All right, so let's put an H1 under that. We'll give it an H1 with a class of display dash four. And we'll just say add article. Okay, under that we want our form. Now this form is going to have an action of slash articles slash create. Okay, we're going to create that in the controller. Let's also add a method of post. Okay, and then inside the form, let's create a form group. So a div with the class of form group we will have a label. Uh, we'll say for title. And then under the label, let's put an input type text and let's give that a name of title. All right, we also want to give it a class of form control. Okay, so then we'll copy this form group, paste that in. This is going to be for the body. And we're just going to change this input to a text area. Okay, text area needs a ending tag. All right, and then we'll just put an input. Let's give it a type of submit. And let's see, we're going to give it a value of submit. 
and we're going to give it a class of btn and btn primary. Save that. Let's go back to our ad page and there's our form. Now it's going to get submitted to articles slash create. So what we're going to do is go to our controller which is right here and we're going to go right under add make sure you put a comma here and we're going to say create which is going to be a function okay function should take in a request and response and let's first get the fields from the form so let's say var title set it to uh, request dot body dot title if you're familiar with express this should look very familiar so this will be request dot body dot body. And then what we're going to do is take our articles model and call the create. OK, we're going to say articles dot create. We're going to pass in an object with title title and body body. All right. Then we need to run exec. So dot exec. Inside the exec, we're going to have a function okay, with a possible error. We're going to check for the error. Okay, If there is one, we'll just go ahead and send out a database error message with a 500 status. If there's not, then we're just going to redirect. So res.redirect is how we can do that. And we're going to redirect to slash articles slash list. OK, and, and that should do it. So let's save. Let's go back to our ad page and we're going to say test article. And we'll just say this is a test submit. And there it is. Wait a minute. What the hell? <laughs> Why the hell is it? Why are they both in the title? Oh, you know what? I think on the form. Yeah, I have name title for the text area. So this should be body. Damn it. All right. So we're, we'll just leave. We'll leave that there for now. But let's just try and add another one. And it should work correctly. So I would say. I'll just say Brad's article. Hello there. There we go. So now it's just the title. Don't worry about this. We'll, we'll delete that when we get to the delete. But everything's working as it should now. So in the next video, we're going to start to work on the uh, on the edit and the delete functionality.